hi guys so i always forget to film intros so um if you want to learn how to get this smoky eye look just keep watching thank you bye so i'm just going in with my Rommel london um wake me up concealer to prime my eyes and then i'm gonna set that with the white and wild shadow and brulee So I'm just blending in raw sienna and burnt orange into my crease as my transition color and I guess like more of a base um, and I did go into the palette a couple of times to get the desired color I wanted in my crease so you're just gonna go in a couple more times and then just keep blending and blending <music> Okay, so dipping into Love Letter, I did um, dip into the palette for Love Letter like twice. So the first time you just put in your crease, you blend it out, and then you go to the second time to deepen it up even more, and then you just keep blending. It. Okay, and then I just grab some Venetian Red and then just blend it into the crease. Um, I was going trying to get like a hot pink crease. I don't know why. Okay, and then I just grabbed raw sienna and burnt orange again just to blend out um, between my eyelid and my brow bone. Cause, um, I did go like a little bit far up and just to blend everything all out. And then I dip into love letter again. I can't to just blend everything out and to deepen up the crease a little bit more. Okay, so I started to apply Cypress Umber on my lid. And this definitely was not the right brush for it. It's too, um, I'm guessing, dense. I think I needed more of a fluffier brush. But also, I wasn't expecting this color to be that dark. I thought it was going to be more of a chocolate brown. And it came out more like a black brown. So it made it even more of a, like a more of a smoky eye. Um... I should have used more of a base, but oh well. I tried to go in with warm taupe to kind of tone down like the darkness to make it a little bit lighter. But as you can tell, it didn't really work out, but I was just trying to blend it out. Okay, so then I just go in with my crease brush to blend everything together and I made it look a little bit better. And then I clean up my brow bone um, just because I went too far with the shadow and then I blend it out once again. And I just go in with this dark character concealer. Um, I'll leave the details down below. Okay, using the Hourglass Primer. This primer has become my favorite primer to use lately. Okay, of course, going on with my hard candy foundation drops, and then you girls know the rest. You blend it out, get the double neck, <laughs> and yeah. Okay, so I went in with this concealer, but I didn't realize how dry it was. <laughs> Like you could barely see it on my face, like it wasn't really applying. So then, um, I just grabbed my my Rimmel concealer, and um, I just put that all over the places that I put this the first concealer on, and then of course I just blended it out. <laughs> Okay, 
So just going with the Cody Airspoon powder. I don't bake because my eyes get really wrinkly under there. So I just um, basically dab the powder under there and it just absorbs into my under eye area. And then what I've been liking to do to set my face that I realize it like really like seals in my foundation is um, I use my wet sponge and like just like how you would bake your under eye or whatever um, you just basically like dab the powder all over your face and you don't get too much just like a good amount to, <laughs> to dab into your face so it just like basically locks it in um, I don't know I've been doing it for uh, like a couple weeks now and it I'm really oily so it keeps me like really dry throughout the day so that's my favorite technique now and then just going in with my elf powder brush to dust off any access excess powder <laughs> Because there, of course, there is going to be some because not all of it can absorb into your face. So, yeah, just dust the excess off. And then you can also go in with a little bit more if you feel like your face isn't completely set. Okay, so just going in with my Huda bronzer and just bonding up my face, my cheeks, and my forehead. And then going in with my one of my favorite blushes from Makeup Revolution. It's just a nice, pretty, peachy nude color. Um, and yeah, it's practically the one I use all the time. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm just using this eyeshadow that I got off of AliExpress. It's so pretty for the inner corner. Of course, I have to wet it first so it can look um, like intensify the color. But oh my god, can you see that? For the lower lash line, I'm just taking raw sienna and burnt orange again and just blending it out. For my glow, I went in with another um, Makeup Revolution product and um, I applied it and then I wet my face and then I applied it again so it could be more intensified and then I grabbed my sponge and then just blend it out and then I just go on with my Benefit Roller Lash and then I use my lash comb to comb them out so they don't get to um, clumpy so for lips I just go on with this lip liner and then I grab my bare minerals lip gloss I didn't really like this combo like I feel like it didn't go that well with the look um, but after I apply it I blot it out with some tissue paper and then I apply a little bit more and then blend it out with my finger just to just to kind of um tone it down a little bit but yeah guys that's everything so thank you for watching see you next time bye